Okay, so today we're going to talk about the serial line. Uh, that's pretty simple. The serial line is the USB that you connect the Arduino. Uh, there's not going to be any external video this time, but uh, it's pretty simple to use. Okay, so all you do is you go serial dot begin. Now begin is a command of the object serial, which is actually the serial port. This is like uh, the whole program and everything. And then you have a dot and then you have functions and variables and that sort of thing. And we'll figure that out later too. You insert the baud rate that you want it, the serial port to run at. Now when I go open GPS, the modules and stuff run at 38,400. We'll take uh, 9,600. And I commented out our relay so that it's not quite so noisy. We'll go 500 and 500. So it goes a little faster. And what we'll do is go serial dot print. Now in here is where you have what you want to print. And it can be text, it can be numbers, it can be variables, it can be that sort of thing. So uh, we'll try a few different things and we'll just start with something easy. On. And copy it here. We'll go off. There, now we'll compile it. And what does it say? It says, serial does not name a type. So what did we do wrong? We need to put it in setup. It's not a variable, it's actually a command. So that needs to be part of the initial setup. So now let's try it. And it compiles just fine. So that's our first mistake. I'll just plug in the Arduino. Bubblek. There's COM6. So now we upload it to the board. Uploading, done uploading. Now there's a couple of ways to look at the information. One is called a serial plotter, and one's called a serial monitor. The monitor just monitors the text that's coming out of the, uh, the serial port. And the serial plotter actually just plots it in a graph. But since we're just saying off and on, now we run the serial monitor, on, off, on, off, on, off, and that's running. Now if we go print line here and not here, so what this does is it creates a new line. It prints this information out, generates a carriage return and a line feed. So if we run that, now we'll go on off, on off. So there's our carriage return line feed. That's what the LN stands for. Perfect. That's just sending it back out. It sends it back to the PC down the uh, down the serial line. Okay, let's make a couple of variables. Now you need to find a variable, a byte. He's eight bits. Let's call him byte. And an integer is sixteen bits. Sixty-five thousand possibilities, or in this case, from negative thirty-two thousand to positive thirty-two thousand. And we'll call him Tint. Tint. <laughs> so, now let's write out some variables. Okay, let's take Tint and make it Tint, tint plus 1. Now there's other ways to write this. We can go tint plus equals one. That's exactly the same thing. Or tint plus plus. That's all this, it's all the same way of writing, adding one to it. If you wanted to add five, you could do it there. That is the same as saying tint equals tint plus five. So it's just a shorthand way rather than writing the variable twice, you just go tint plus equals five. 10 plus plus. 
what was our other one? Byte plus equals 10. Okay. So now, control C. Four, five. We can make a few of these. We'll print out tint, and then we'll print out a comma, and then we'll print out the uh, the byte, and we'll print out a comma, and good enough. Now you can see that this is starting to kind of look like it does an Ag Open GPS when we print out that character string for the return of the steering angle and the roll and that sort of thing. So now we'll upload it, assuming we don't have any errors. See, now they're starting to count up. And when that guy gets to 255, because you only get 8 bits on a byte, then it'll restart from zero again. That's a good way to mess up programming too, is running past the end of the capability of a number. So if you can only go to 255, once you hit 255, it starts at zero again. So that's one thing to really watch when you're programming. Okay. All right, well, let's add a line here. And let's add, instead of a comma, you can do escape sequences, like a tab, this backslash, and then a T, you can have backslash R for return to the beginning of the line. You can have new line, you can have several other things like that. Um, that way we can do a tab. Let's suppose you wanted to go byte, times five. Well, we should use byte, we should use the integer. It's a bigger number. Times five. So you can do some math inside there too. So now let's see what it looks like. So now you can see it counting up. There's no errors. It just multiplies that number times five. It adds up very quickly. Okay. So let's get rid of these guys and this guy. You notice that it was out. That's the tab that we inserted. So if you have a bunch of numbers, you don't want to put commas in, you can tab them out across. Um, now let's up this. And instead of running the, the uh, serial number or the um, serial monitor, we will run a serial plotter. Now you can see these numbers going across. These are the numbers of transmits or the numbers of lines going out. And these are the actual values. So these, instead of just a whole string of numbers, you can print out what the actual value is, and this will create a chart. So then if it's like the inertial measurement unit, you give it a wiggle, it'll go up and down, and as it moves across, just like the steer chart, there, see, it just hit 255, and now it starts all over again from zero. So you can create waveforms, and sometimes it's easier to see the data in the form of a waveform as opposed to just straight digits. And so that's the, the plotter. Okay, so that's using serial print. Just a quicker video today, but um, next time we'll just look at decoding what's coming in using the serial input and the, and the read and that sort of thing. And we'll use the actual machine I and I, uh, sorry, I and O for uh, figuring out what's going on. It'll be uh, more just looking at the code and see what's happening. So give serial print, have a, take a look on the web and see other examples of things that you can do. And again, lots of good videos. But in a nutshell, that's what Serial Print Line does. It's its own function. And once you start it up here in Setup, then you can just go ahead and start printing it, either printing individual characters or printing a whole line and moving on to the next line. 
So, okay.